Okay, so this is the first week of the 0.23 CSDC tournament. And starting off with a bang with Ogre Wizard. Not a particularly easy combo, in my opinion, just in general. But uh, we add on a few stipulations and it becomes a lot harder and a little bit RNG heavy. So the way CSDC works is uh, there are challenges for each week. So in this one, it's an Ogre Wizard. You have to play that combo. And to get extra points, you have to do certain things. Uh, on this one, you have to collect a rune before entering Shoal, Snake, Spider, or Swamp to get one bonus. Uh, and then for the second bonus, you have to collect a rune without entering Lair at all. Um, and then you could go back if you wanted to and still get full points for the week. If you want to get um, another bonus, you have to pick Ashenzari, Hepliaquana, or Okawaru. That's your only three gods that you can pick. You could pick a different one if you wanted to, but you'd miss out on the points. And then on top of that, there are tournament-wide um, challenges, I guess you could say, where you only do you only have to do them once for the whole tournament, but you get bonus points um, for, for having done them. Um, so you can clear a zig, you can win without entering lair, you can win a game and get all 15 runes, you can enter Zod at level 20 or lower, you can win a game in under 40,000 turns, uh, or you could get a rune without using potions or scrolls. Most of those are not really much of an option for this, this particular uh, challenge, but we need to keep these in mind, um, and we want to try to get more than one if possible, because uh, we only have five games in the entire tournament, so you can imagine you can imagine it's going to be a little bit tight, since there are only um, there are actually six different um, one-time only bonus challenges. So the way that works is you have to get at least two in one of your games if you want to get all of them. So on this one, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning on doing a zig. And I think that it's naturally conducive to winning without entering lair, which means we're going to uh, essentially be doing everything but lair and uh, doing a lot of extended stuff first. So it'll be quite a challenge. As far as the god choice goes, I just had a pretty lengthy discussion with um, Hellmonk and Doesn't He in uh, the CXC Discord, and the bottom line is it's um, there's a lot of different opinions about which god is best, and I'm, I'm going to kind of play it by ear and just see what I get. And then at that point, I will, I'll decide from there, you know, which which god is uh, best for this challenge, because it really it depends on what items you get. I will say that I'm going to train spellcasting and conjurations to start with, because we are a wizard, so our stats are very much pointed towards casting, even if we are a big dumb ogre. And we just got six stones, which I mean, if you've seen my videos before, you know I really like to go throwing when possible, but. It's not exactly ideal. Oh my god. That is... That is quite an entry vault. <laughs> That's, uh... So I did forget to mention one thing. Um, yeah, doesn't he nice mulligan? Um, in CSDC, you can lose once as long as you don't get to level 5 first. Um, this is comical, though. This is one of the worst... Um, things that could possibly happen. We just opened the door, and we've got two armed dudes next to us. So we just started the game. We really don't have much in the way of options. Um, I can try to magic dart, I can try to magic dart these dudes to death, which may very well work. Um, and that's basically it. I guess I could throw stones at them, but why would I do that, you know? So I guess we're just gonna dart them. I mean, because what else can you do? I guess I could, like, close the door, and maybe they'd forget about me if I did it enough times, but that's almost impossible. Like, that's just not going to happen. So here we go. Okay, we killed one. That's cool. Um, actually, check this out. We will close the door a lot. So I can get my mana back. Got a little random energy there. Alright, we have full. Three, four, five, and we got him. That is <laughs> that was that was an exciting start, I guess. It's 
fun stuff. Didn't um, really have anything of note. I guess I can pick up the dagger and I can wear that. Not that I'll be swinging with it, but... Right, we still don't have a column to dance around. We got this wacky lava start. This whole thing is a giant column to dance around, I guess. An animation of that needs to be made. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this is this is alright. I'm gonna um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna before before I start engaging that ooze. Uh, I was afraid there was gonna be another one or some some kind of other enemy here. See, I wanna have a place where I can safely kite things around a column, and I actually don't have that yet. Although, um going down this hallway seems scarier to me than just trying to engage one of these oozes. So I'm going to try to take it out. We have quite a lot of magic dart going on here, so we should be okay. Yep, got him. Okay, now we'll go around again. Keeping in mind there is a scarf across the lava. We want to remember that for later. Two, three, five, six... Alright, so the cool thing is, because we cleared out the other guy, we can actually kite this more or less endlessly, provided I don't starve, you know. I can get all my mana back, and I can go again. Cool. Alright. So now we have a column to dance around. Our D1 just got a lot easier. Got a potion. Got a scroll. Uh, I'm going to live dangerously in auto explore. Back up here. Magic darts didn't go super well, and you know what? I've already messed up because I should have gone ahead and memorized call imp sooner, but that's all right. We'll take summonings to about five. Got a ring. You know, normally I would never even consider putting a ring on, um, but with the mulligan rules, it is tempting, because if we got something that was cursed and particularly bad, you know, we could, if we really wanted to, just take the mulligan. Although that that's risky in and of itself. I don't think I'm going to, though. Because especially if we get Ashen Zari, we're going to get it identified anyway. Wow, that's, that's, that's quite a room. Yeah, doesn't he? I would agree. Um, I don't even want to wake this stuff up. I'm just going to close the door. Take this potion. Now we have three potions and one scroll. Let's see. All this stuff is actually speed 10, except for... Um, Actually, even the even the frilled lizard is um, probably probably speed ten. So I think we're okay to back up here. Nice, not so bad of a room. One of the cool things about this combo, I am going to get intelligence. One of the cool things about this combo is. Um, you know, at least with Magic Dart, we have a reasonably um, reasonably good chance of taking out Adders. Their EV doesn't help them. And on top of that, we've got... Um, well, now we've got Mephitic Cloud, which is just great. we got Conjure Flame, which is also great. We're just going to take fire to one, air to one, poison to one. We're going to train all this stuff. It's a little bit 
um, suboptimal. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. We should focus on at least getting call imp below um, below ten percent, right? <laughs> Some nice plate armor. How uh, how good that would be if I was not such a fatty. Oh my god. I just took two moves um, and I shouldn't have because we got a we got the dreaded D1 the dreaded D1 null. But it's actually not so bad on this character cuz we have beautiful beautiful imps. We got a couple of really good ones and they just kind of erased the problem for me. And that would have been quite nasty on many other characters but not this one. How about that, that entry vault and then a knoll on the floor as well? That's some exciting stuff. Not quite a halberd knoll, but pretty close. That was dangerous, by the way. He could have very well had a net, and I, th I don't think there's anything stopping... Uh, it's been a while since I've looked into this, but I don't think there's anything stopping a knoll from using a net right on uh, D1. But with the imps, it's um, it's unlikely to be a problem, especially since our strength is not too terrible. Okay. Okay, let's use one of these three stacks. Enchant weapon. Well, we've got a plus one spear. I could make it into a plus three spear if I so desired. Is that so, Edort? I feel like you're definitely right. Wow. I mean, it's a D2 Ash and Zari. I guess I have to take it. I mean, that's a sign, right? Protection from cold. Now, does she automatically identify uh, scrolls of scrolls of um, remove curse? She does, right? Yeah. So we don't have any. Wow! Look at that! Look at the hot MVP action from these white imps. Just really bringing the pain. <laughs> they, they really are, doesn't he? Kind of outrageous almost. I'm trying not to rely on them too much because, um, well, I don't want them stealing my experience. Experience is really at a premium on a character like this. where you have this challenge where you're not even allowed to set foot in the lair. So I should grab these tomahawks. Not that we're going to be going throwing because I um, honestly I just don't trust it on um, on Ash and Zari. I just will not necessarily get enough ammo for it to be particularly valuable. But hey, we're immune to traps now. That's nice. Oh my god, Curare. Maybe it does want me to go. <laughs> a little bit of throwing. Not that I need throwing for that. Oh, what a troll. What a troll. Enchanted 
helmet. But my my head is just too fat. Precursed, yeah. Oh, we got a ring of fire. I'll go ahead and pop that on. Since we have RC+. I shouldn't be auto-exploring, but I am. I probably should have used my spear on that guy, but I really wanted to give some distance. Oh my god! Dude, I had options and I didn't even know it. What are the chances that two of the gods that are allowed in this challenge are both on the same floor and also that floor is D2? What are, what are the chances of that happening, I wonder? Not, not high. I'm going to lose my mind if uh, Okawaru is on this floor too. I mean, that's early for an altar. That's really early. Whatever. We forge ahead with... Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> this is getting kind of ridiculous. Did I drug the RNG? I mean, I... I guess I remove the pro cold. Or wait, I don't remove pro cold. I, I keep the ring of fire on, I put pro cold back on, and then I... Walk around with RC++, can I cast in this? Not really, but do I care? I mean, I... I don't know. What do I do? I wish I had found this before going Ash. Uh, this would have been... Wow. Um, I mean, I don't think I want to have it on just yet. Casting spells is important if I want to be able to kill things. Like, this character needs to... Needs to... Um, be able to kill dudes still. Now, if I if I trained up some weapons of some sort, I could very quickly make it worth using the dragon. Yeah, I'm I'm with you, doesn't he? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off. But man, I'm I'm gonna wear it. Believe me. Yeah, whiz whiz book is too good for not dying. We'll see if we find any um anything good. I mean, I do have two more scrolls of enchant weapon and a plus one spear in my hand. But that's not exactly worth, um... I mean, to be fair, though, pole arms are the best... The best thing to train, probably, on an ogre that are axes. You'll be able to cast in it real soon with ogre strength and ash skill boosts. Yep, that's a fact. And the whiz int doesn't really hurt, either. Oh, um, why don't we go back up? Hold up. Let's... Let's use some scrolls. Random uselessness. Nope. Enchant armor. Uh, I guess I'll. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be conservative, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna enchant the hat. And I'm gonna enchant the hat again, because who knows exactly how long it'll be until I'm using the dragon armor. Do I want to use this two stack of potions? Um, no, I'm feeling pretty safe. I don't think I need to waste. Let's memorize blink though. Now a rapier, that's a decent thing to be having, a uh, decent weapon to have. Although my short blades apt is kind of crappy. I'll pick it up just in case, just because it's the best the best item I've found so far. Um we should train some fighting. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rosecrypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.